Hey, it's Doug Katz with a quick split ready tip talking about technology again today and browsing in private when you're using a Microsoft product, either Edge or Bing or the different browsers. And much like you'll see in any of the modern browsers today, there's ability to browse in private or in, in Chrome, they call it incognito. And it's not uncommon that when somebody's considering divorce or separation, that there's a desire to get information and find out what to do, but not wanting that information that you're in that search readily available to anybody. And that's where in private comes in. So you know, it's actually the same in most of the browsers and how to do it. Uh, with Microsoft products, you go and instead of three vertical dots, there's three horizontal dots and you would go into an in private window. That will open another window. You'll see that it's in private because it says in private up top and there's nothing there. You know, when you when you go toggle back and forth in between, you can see all the different things like the default, right? So if you're opening a new window, it's going to show all the different default settings for your particular browser. When you're in private, you're not going to see that there. And with any in private or incognito mode with any browser, your search history is not going to be saved. Whatever you download will, your activity on the internet is probably saved somewhere, but locally on the computer and on this particular browser that you're in, none of your search history will be saved. And then just to get out of it, you click the right window and you're back in your regular browser. Now, it is important to remember when you're in private mode and when you're not, you can toggle back and forth. But when you're not in private, things will be saved. Just because you open the in private window doesn't mean that in the non in private window, things are not being saved. You have to be in the in private window uh, and then you can exit right out of it. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions on this or any other aspects of getting split ready, give us a call at www dot splitready.com. We're happy to help and happy to get you split ready. Thanks so much. And we'll talk to you later.